Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak any iDevice on iOS 5.0 Beta 5. Yes, this is Beta 5 jailbreak. It took about a couple of days to come out, but it's finally out, and I'm doing this video now. Now, this jailbreak is tethered. It is tethered, so every time you reboot your iDevice, your battery dies, or you turn it off, you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot tethered. Always remember that, or your device may not boot, or even if it boots, the Cydia in Safari will be crashing. It's tethered, remember that. So you're going to need two things only. You're going to need the IPSW4 iOS 5.0 Beta 5, and you're going to need Red Snow 0.9.8 B5. The links in the description to an in-depth written tutorial and everything you're going to need to download. You guys already know that's how I do my thing. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do is right click Red Snow, click Properties, click Compatibility, check off Run This Program in Compatibility Mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2, Hit apply and then hit OK. Now you're going to run Red Snow. And browse for that IPSW, iOS 5.0 Beta 5 IPSW. Mine's on my desktop right here. Let me just click it. Red Snow has identified. We're just going to click Next. Let it patch the kernel. And all we're going to do is leave it in Star City. That's it. And then we're going to click Next. And we're going to get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode. If you, if you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I'm going to show you. Make sure your iDevice is plugged into your computer. You're going to hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then release the, home, the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes your iDevice. We don't have to click next, we're just going to do it here. When Red Snow recognizes, it's going to just proceed. So let's go. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Release, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi. Red Snow recognize the iDevice so we can release. And now Red Snow is going to start the jailbreak process. So I'm going to come back when Red Snow is finished. Stay tuned. So now that Red Snow is finished, you're going to realize that you have a white CD icon. It's crashing plus Safari is crashing. That's completely normal for Tether jailbreak. Don't trip about it. Now we're going to boot our iDevice tethered. So we're going to run Red Snow again. Yes. Browse for that same formula, your iOS 5.0 Beta 5 formula. Look, select it. After Red Snow identifies, click Next. After I finish patching the corner, all we're going to select is just boot tethered right now. That's it. Just boot tethered right now. Click Next. And we're going to put our iDevice into DFU mode again. So let's go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Release one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven. Red Snow recognize the I device, so now we're gonna let Red Snow work its magic again. Boot tethered, and I'm gonna come back when it, it's finished. So. Red Snow is finished once again. Your CDR should look like normal. It should work like normal. And your Safari should also work like normal. That's it. You're now jailbroken. May the jailbreak force be with you. And please remember it is a tethered jailbreak. So you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot tethered every time your battery dies. You turn off your iDevice or you reboot. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Why still we